hello people welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy to do this video because this video is going to be a very special video please watch to the end and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button thank you so much well my beautiful people the people of ududua are hungry and they have gathered courage to tell the Oni of Ife to bring back their queen. Yes, you heard me right. The people of um, Ile Ife are saying that they want their queen back. You know, when I heard of, about um, Queen Naomi not completing the ritual, whatever, whatever, she's not um, legally married, I laugh. I laugh. And I laughed and I laughed because I know that a day like this is going to come. I know that a day like this, I'm going to be making this kind of video. That Queen Naomi is not the, is not doing, is not this, is not that. That uh, her family embezzled a lot of money and her mother is the reason for her separation. And this one, that one. The people of Ududua are now saying that they want their queen back and they want their prince back to the palace they are now putting fire they are putting serious fire on the leg of Oni of Ife that he should bring back their queen Queen Naomi was legally married to that palace and Queen Naomi is the, the original is the legal wife of Oni of Ife she performed all the rituals that she staying out of the palace is not an is not a thing. Is not a good thing. That she should be given the chance to come back to the palace. And she should and they should also make it safe for her to be at the palace. For crying out loud, she is a queen and not a servant. A queen is supposed to be treated like a queen. A queen is supposed to be regarded and treated with and, and uh, acknowledged with respect. Not that uh, this person will come and insult the queen. This person will come and insult the queen. This person will come and insult the queen. All because of she is not um she is not uh, of a very high standard like they always say that uh, the the kingdom brought her family out from poverty and gave them a name so she should take every nonsense that comes along with it but now i'm so happy that the people of odudua are saying that they want their queen back and the queen naomi is coming to the palace very very soon at least for some time now all this thing is going to come to an end. Remember there was a time that um, Reverend Esther, I mean Prophetess Esther Ajayi, wanted to re reconcile the king and um, and Queen Naomi. I think that one was to no avail because um, she only gave her prophecy what she saw. But um, according to the sources we got that the king is working towards it. And later on, the king started getting other advice that uh, he should leave a woman that left him. That he is a king. He can marry as many women as possible. That he is not the one that sent Queen Naomi out. That she woke up one day, packed her bag, and she left the palace. She, he did not drive her out. So he's going to be a coward or he's not going to be a great king if he goes after a woman. I think that was the reason why Oni of Ife allowed this thing to go on for so long. He did not bother telling her to come back. And Queen Naomi, on the other hand, has her own reason for leaving the palace, that she's not being treated well, she's not comfortable, she's scared of her life, she's not always allowed to do things with her husband. One person is always distracting them or the other. And she's always being monitored, being questioned, being challenged, being talked to anyhow, 
that was why she left the palace on her own. And also that her mother is also the masterminder of the whole thing. Her mother is always disturbing, causing um, causing nuisance in the palace. Her brother did this. Her brother uh, embezzled some money, made for projects. Her family are always uh, are all after the royal money. So because of this talk and everything, Queen Naomi, Jelio, leave left them alone, so that they will not have a reason to call her and her family good good, uh, good diggers. But I thank God now that they are reali they're realizing that there is no queen like uh, Naomi. And they are all fighting to Tanel to bring her back. Because only of if I saw this lady, he liked her. Even when she said she does not want to marry him. Because in the initial time, Queen Naomi declared about the marriage that she does not want to go into a marriage with a traditionalist because she is a prophetess but the king insisted and they got married out of love and ever since then people has been contributing in their marital life and she is not comfortable again because of that is not what she planned for herself that is not how she wanted her marriage to go and because of that she gave way and also they did not even allow her to rest too. even after she left the palace they've been pursuing her Saying that she did this, she did that, she did this, she, she did that. Anyway, my beautiful people, this is what I think I came up today. I'm so happy as I'm making this video. I am I'm so so happy because this is a thing that we've been waiting for. Please, if you have anything to add in this video, I would like to see it on the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification button. Thank you very much. Bye bye.